Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title that I'm probably going to put on this, you know what we're talking about. Now I don't really talk about the news, I don't talk about things that are going on, um, That's we kind of stray away from it, but I felt in this scenario I definitely had to talk about it. It's just a huge part of my childhood and it just sucks seeing a lot of things that I loved as a kid get in the boot. It really sucks. Um, this is an off script video, so I'm probably gonna, you know, mess up my words quite a bit, but I felt that I just really had to talk about it because this is kind of a big deal. If you go back about seven or eight months, you'll see that I made a video uh, discussing the new Red vs. Blue season, which I was extremely happy and excited for. The series has needed to be revitalized since season 13, you know, so it's. It was really great news until earlier today. By the time this video posts, I'm not sure it might be a day or two after this news has hit. Rooster Teeth is shutting down. After 21 years of content creation, they're shutting down. This is a huge deal for me. Red vs. Blue and Achievement Hunter were huge in my life growing up. I mean, I watched them like they were TV shows. They'd come out with a new weekly episode or even two episodes a week, you know, depending on what it was. I know Achievement Hunter was a little bit more frequent than Red vs. Blue, but Red vs. Blue was always a weekly thing. It just sucks, man. I mean, seriously, like, I don't know what it is, but I'm growing up, it's just seeing a lot of these franchises, IPs, companies that I used to love is just getting the boot, getting canned, and it really sucks. So I'm going to look at this with a fresh pair of eyes because I just heard about it literally five minutes ago. So from Chelsea, the director of community, she starts with, and I'm going to read it word for word, Dear Rooster Teeth community, over the years at Rooster Teeth, we aim to be direct in sharing news as it happens. It is with an extremely heavy heart that this morning, during our company all-hands meeting, a very important announcement was made. We are grateful for our audience, our fans, and our community's support during this challenging time. As has been shared in other places and sent to press and our internal staff, a copy of the memo sent from the general manager of Rooster Teeth, Jordan Levin, is shared with you all below. Please remember, as you begin to read the below message and definitely before you comment, we, all of us who work at Rooster Teeth, are processing this in real time just like you. Please be mindful that this is on the Rooster Teeth website. Thank you for the patience. Continued updates will be posted on their website. This sucks. Now, first, I'm just going to preface this by saying I, you know, I'm really sorry to hear that for all the employees that have been laid off, that have been with the company for over a decade. It's over two decades, I guess, at this point for some of them. Um, it just sucks. And my heart goes out to all of them. I hope they get on their feet. I hope they find a job quick. I hope they find a job that they love. But here, we'll dive into the memo. This is where the juice of the news comes from. This, this is the crazy stuff. Um, Dear Rooster Teeth, since our founders created and uploaded their first video on the then called World Wide website in 2003, YouTube, Rooster Teeth has been a source of creativity, laughter, and lasting innovation in the wildly volatile media industry, which, yeah, absolutely. We've read the headlines about industry-wide layoffs and closures, and you've heard me give my perspective and updates on the rapidly changing state of media and entertainment during each of our monthly all-hands meetings. Since inheriting ownership and control of Rooster Teeth from AT&T following its acquisition of Time Warner, Warner Bros., Discovery continued its investment in our company, content, and community, but now, it's with a heavy heart, I announced that Rooster Teeth is shutting down due to challenges facing digital media resulting from fundamental shifts in consumer behavior and monetization across platforms, advertising, and patronage. Well, what he's referring to is, and I'm going to pull their, their, their actual channel up, just for context, uh, this doesn't represent their website numbers, but look at the dip. 11,000, 5,000, 8,000, 6,000. I mean, they, they're they they're not doing very hot. You know, they're coming up, I think they're coming up with fun ideas. You go to their most popular videos though. 26 million, 18 million, 17 million. Granted, these are from years ago, so it's a little unfair, but at the same time, it just gives you a perspective on just how loved these videos were compared to what they're trying to do with their new stuff and just seeing the decline. You know what I mean? I mean, millions and millions and millions of views, and these are all from videos nearly, or if not over a decade ago, right? Like this, 
I mean, obviously a decade ago is when they were hot. They were popping off, they could do whatever they wanted, and it was going to great heights, right? So it, I don't know. For me, there, there it is, right? It just, and then you go to their oldest, millions, 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 couple hundred thousands, which are still good. You know, a couple hundred thousand is a very good number, but I mean, obviously a lot of their stuff is in red versus blue. That's where they really hit it off. Um, but it's just, like, just look at the, look at the difference here, you know? Every other video is either 500,000 or more, or maybe a little less, or, you know, millions, right? Like, it, it's just, it's insane. It's, anyway, that's, I just wanted to bring that up because, I mean, this is what they're talking about, right? And I think this can be an indicator for how their website is also following this path. I think a big thing, too, is we really saw Rooster Teeth change when they changed their logo to this generic... It just, it's not good. I don't like this. I mean, look at this. This is what they used to be. So anyway, we keep moving. Uh, it's just kind of restating what she said towards the end here. Here we get into some of the really crazy stuff. To a creative le legacy. From a garage in Buda, Texas, to global screens, large and small, our teams of dreamers and doers have introduced and grown what made Rooster Teeth stand out. Animation, comedy, and gaming. From new forms of animated comedy with machinima, like Red vs. Blue, to a US-born animated series embraced by Japan as anime, uh, Ruby, I believe, and record-breaking, at the time, crowdfunded movies. You've accomplished so much and made dreams come true here. You've turned original IP into video games, comic books, and VTubers. You've directed short videos, mocap, and films. You've puppeteered, hosted podcasts, and have built a thriving community that spans the globe, or a once-thriving community. Your creativity knows no bounds, and you'll continue contributing significantly to culture wherever your paths may take you. To those who come first, despite passing through many corporate owners, Rooster Teeth transcended a media business and was a dynamic movement that shaped the bond between communities. What, they're t what he's talking about here is transcended a media business. Well, if we take a look, right, Rooster Teeth did, did do that. They were their own thing. Up until November 2014, Rooster Teeth was acquired by Fullscreen for an undisclosed amount. Rooster Teeth agreed to be bought to give itself the resources and tools needed to compete against other producers. This kind of went down the route that Machinima took, right? Well, we kind of saw how Machinima ended. Um, January 2019, they abruptly discontinued their YouTube channels, set their videos to private, and they announced that it laid off employees and ceased remaining operations. And Machinima essentially died then. Full Screen is also a company that was purchased by Machinima alongside Rooster Teeth, and they also went down kind of the same the same route, right? So November 10th, 2020, Warner Media laid off most or all of the Full Screen team as part of a company-wide reorganization. Warner Bros. Warner Media in general is just notorious for just canning companies, canning movies, right as they're done, right as they're like, you know, getting somewhere and just shutting them down for good. You know, just blacklisting them right as they're about to get great, right as they're about to get published, right? They're notorious for this shit. Due to a bunch of advertising movements on, you know, YouTube and less patronage because of it, they laid off 13% of their workforce in 2018 approximately 50 employees, and Matt Hallum was, all, or if I said his last name correctly, he was also supposed to come back with Bernie. And here you go, Bernie also leaves. I mean, they kind of stepped out at the right time, Matt and Bernie. To, to get to the main point that I want to discuss in this one is, to our final season. Though not intentional, it's only appropriate that our last season of Red vs. Blue coincides with us navigating this closure together, as it should be. Red vs. Blue started the company. Red vs. Blue started the channel. You can't say it didn't, because it absolutely 1000% did. So it's good to see that they're, they will be continuing a Red vs. Blue final season. Restoration is still coming. It, I'm sure they're just working through a bunch of loopholes to make it happen, but it's still coming if they keep their promise. Our legacy is not just a collection of content, but a history of pixels burned in our screen, minds, and hearts. Rooster Teeth has made an indelible mark on the media industry, and we should be so proud of the countless ways we pioneered a business connecting creators and content with a dedicated community. With respect, gratitude, and sincere appreciation, Jordan Levin. A bunch of comments are like, thanks for a wonderful two decades, goodness, this sucks, you know, it's been a good run. I know everyone is feeling it, but, you know, it's just... 
it sucks. It just feels like over the years, they've been trying to do their best to keep up. They've been trying to do their best to stay afloat and it just finally caught up with them. And I can't blame them from a business perspective, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. And you know what, 21 years is a, it's a great run. It's the end of an era. It's the end of two decades worth of work. And it just sucks. I know they're gonna be continuing their podcast and I know they're gonna be continuing like a series or two. Um, it's just, it's not gonna be what it was and it sucks. Hopefully maybe one day we can see some sort of independent resurgence, but I just don't see it happening. This feels pretty nail in the coffin, you know what I mean? That's about it. I just wanted to talk about it. Sorry that this was a bit of an unstructured, opinions all over the place mess. Check out my other discussion videos if you have any interest. Go watch my video discussing the new Red vs. Blue season. Hopefully we'll get it sometime this year, maybe next year. Hopefully we just get it in general. Honestly, no rush. As long as we get it, I'm happy. I hope you guys got some useful information out of this. Um, what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. I'd love to talk to you. It just sucks. Rest in peace, Rooster Teeth.